Good afternoon. Thank you. Good afternoon, friends in Berlin. Thank you for coming to the demonstrations supporting Hong Kong out of solidarity. And together we fight against tyranny. You might be thinking, in early September, isn't that Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam announced that the government will officially withdraw the extradition bill? Yes and no. She could have done when two million people went onto the street. She could have done this when the first Hong Konger committed suicide in front of the public to ask for democracy. Hong Kong government is only trying to deceive Hong Kongers, as well as our friends from all over the world who have shown great support for the movement. We can now see that even the bill has withdrawn. It's just the beginning of a rogue state. The withdrawal of the bill has shown us exactly what the people, power belongs to people mean. But the root of this movement is far more than that. It's a systematic problem. Under a democratic system and public area, people have the freedom of expression. In the past 17 weeks, more than 1,600 protesters have been arrested, facing brutal excessive force used by police. Some of the arrested protesters were detained in Sun Oakland Holding Center, where family and lawyers were denied access by the police. Report shows that some protesters have suffered from unusual injuries, including severe bruises and major bone fractures. Yet they didn't receive proper medical treatment until many hours later. Female protesters have been sexually harassed and even assaulted by police during their detainment. Despite the controversy, the police ignored requests from lawmakers and justice of peace to visit, to visit the holding center. It seems that there are no means to look into the reports of such inhuman treatment, and none of us can imagine how bad the situation really is. On 31st of August, riot police stormed into train compartment with batons and pepper spray, indiscriminately attacking innocent passengers who were only returning home after dinner. Many civilians were injured. Some were even beaten unconscious and blood covered. The station was called shortly after the attack. All journalists and first aiders were denied access. At least nine Hong Kongers committed suicide to show their concerns about Hong Kong. Two young professionals lost some of their eyesight permanently during the protests due to the police brutality. And some professionals lost their jobs because of their political stance. 17 weeks of blood and sweat have exposed Hong Kong's darkest, ugliest problems. There's no going back and we Hong Kongers will not back down until our demands are met. I would love to ask all of you to stand in silence to mourn for the dead and injured for one minute. East Germans could enjoy democracy fearlessly. Some German companies might have forgotten how precious freedom is and how important democracy is. China, a country with no democracy and no human rights, became the biggest German trading partner this year. And some Chinese companies have had investment in Germany since a few years ago. For example, Chinese biggest battery maker, Contemporary Apparex, Technology Limited, CATL, was approved to build a giant battery cell factory in the German state of Thuringia in July 2018, which is slated for com completion in 2021. Daimler has already signed a multi-billion euro battery contract with CATL, and BMW said it would buy 4, million, 4 billion euro worth of battery cells from the new factory, report from the New York Times show that this has led to some German business closed down due to the low cost competition from China in a certain way. For years, China has been using her economic power to influence Hong Kong politics, which might also occur in Germany in the near future. Through this protest, we want to send an important message to Berliners. Hong Kong is at the global front line of the battle against totalitarianism. As Mandela said, we know that we know there is no easy road to freedom, 
We must, therefore, act together as a united people. For that, we hope our friends in Berlin will join us and support the current protests in Hong Kong. We now have five demands, namely, complete withdrawal of the extradition bill, investigation on police brutality and their abuse of power, retract the definition of riots on June 12th and on, dismiss charges of protests and universal suffrage, five demands, not one less. A government is to serve the people. The only solution for a political crisis is to respond to its people. These are the voices of people. Now, we hope the German government can bring her influence in the EU and hope the EU can do this for us. First, prohibit the sale of non-lethal crowd control equipment to Hong Kong. Second, ensure the mobility of these arrested for protesting in Hong Kong, giving assurance that visa application or immigration approvals will not be negatively impacted by their arrest record. Third, provide, provide political asylum to individuals who have been beaten, harassed, or otherwise abused by Hong Kong police. Fourth, reaffirm support one country, two systems, defending and facilitating the people of Hong Kong in their continued fight for human rights and democracy. Fifth, continue to address human rights issue of Hong Kong in the Sino-EU trade talks. Six, safeguard the freedom of expression and assembly of EU-based Hong Kong citizens. Five years ago today, the umbrella movement broke out. What we are demanding today is the same as five years ago, universal suffrage. We won't stop, we cannot stop. We have no way of turning back because every human being deserves to enjoy the freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and freedom from fear. We need your solidarity. Thank you.